Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My first review is called Dark Summer in 2015. Here's the storyline. A 17-year-old is on house arrest for the summer while his mother is away on business. A horrifying incident occurs, leaving an ominous presence in the house. Directed by Paul Solette, written by Mike Lee. Released January 9th, 2015. Tagline, Some Crushes Last Forever. Here's the cast. Peter Stormare as Stokes. Grace Phipps as Mona Wilson. Stella Moabe as Abby. Keir Gilchrist as Daniel. And Manestro Harrell as Kevin. Here is another film by Paul Solet. You might remember his first film that he did. It was called Grace. It came out quite a few years ago. It's one of the first films that I reviewed uh, when I started this back in 2010. Now here's a film, to be honest, I had a hard time getting through it. I've tried watching it twice and turned it off. You know, not that it's bad. I am not the one for slow-moving movies. But... Thank goodness. Thank God that I did go for the third go around to watch this. Basically, what it's about is what I said a kid is on house arrest for the summer, and Daniel's his name, and he has a brace, uh, an ankle alarm, whatever it's called, on his, on his ankle. So that way he can't leave the house, you know, if he does. Uh, Stokes will be there to arrest him and, and so forth. Well, during his house arrest, he cannot have any communications. No computer, no tablet, no phone, nothing. But what happens is he's an intelligent kid and his friends help him to where he can get on the internet without being caught. Well, what happens is he witnesses this girl who kills himself, kills herself. She did it for him to see. And there's a backstory of this girl, is she proceeds to haunt him in his house. Weird shit, crack mirrors. You're watching this, you know, and then when it gets farther into the movie, and then when it starts to unfold... Now it's interesting. And then the ending is the at most surprise crazy shit that I've seen. So that being said, Dark Summer is a slow paced movie. Now, like I said before, I'm not much for slow pace. But luckily enough, the third time around, I can finished watching this. And I'm glad I did because, you know... If you can handle that stuff, then you won't have a problem. But uh, for me, it, it's it's tough. But I got through it, and uh, it's really good. The ending alone surprised the fuck out of me. It's well worth a watch. So definitely check it out. Look for it. Dark Summer in 2015. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6.5 out of 10. You know, it's watchable. There you go. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.